Hello and welcome to the part 5 whoa, of the tutorial called Game Level Texturing. Today we're gonna talk about how to bake a light map in Blender and in Unity. You can see the result here and it's a game ready environment that's just waiting for you to make some gameplay. But let's start with the basic stuff. Uh, what is baking? You can see the steel frame here, it took me a minute and 30 seconds to render it and that's not good because we want to do real-time application. So that's the full render and that's the diffuse color, the actual texture. We need to add the lighting, the reflections and to bake everything in the diffuse texture. In Blender it's called the combined pass. And as we can see right now, the parts of the diffuse texture on the UV map are being replaced by the combined map. Of course it's fake, you see, I'm moving the sphere and the shadow isn't moving, but that's okay for our purposes. And that's baking. We take everything we see, including reflections and lighting, and pack it into the texture. And in Unity the process is a little bit different. It can't bake the complete map, just the lighting information, so we will have at least two textures, one with the diffuse map and the second one with the light map. And one of the biggest advantages of the Unity light mapping is that we can swap the diffuse texture and retain the light map. Also, we can move the light sources and rebake the lighting straight in Unity and it's very fast way. Ok, so let's return to our game environment, go to UV image editor, create a new map make it uh, 496 by 496 then activate it in the material editor finally press bake, uh, wait a bit and oh I don't mention that uh, this feature of cycles baking is available only in Blender 2.71 now after we baked stuff press shift F to enter the awesome mode of first person and let's repeat these steps in Unity Light Mapper. After importing the OBJ or FBX, press Generate Light Map UVs. Then click on the static checkbox on the geometry. Then create the area light, place it however you want. Now I want to activate the soft shadows in the light mapping window. Then set the final gather rays to something like 100. Now I'm gonna turn down the resolution to be 24, hit bake, and this is our level. Uh, thanks for watching, it was the last part of the game location texturing series, it was very exciting to produce these quick tips, thanks for your interest, stay tuned, feel free to share and subscribe, it was Gleb Alexandro, bye bye.